Now me, I am your casual boxing fan. Casual UFC fan. I'll stay up till six in the morning. I'll watch. I'll get boxing matches. I'll I'll stay up till six in the morning and I'll watch the UFC. I'm a casual. I don't look into every fighter individually. But I've watched a lot of it throughout the years. As of most men my age. But then something happened. YouTube decided to produce. Or not YouTube itself. But a lot of YouTubers decided to produce these boxing matches. Which I am, I have no interest in whatsoever. But. There was a young lad. Jake Paul. And he started boxing people. And he was getting a lot of hate. But me. I'm not really a hater guy. So I kind of thought, you know, he's just a young lad. He's trying to win some money. Good for him. Good for him. But then he did something that kind of pissed me off. You see, in this world, there's a few different kinds of respect. You see, you can respect somebody for who they are, but not for what they do. And you can respect people for what they do, and not for who they are. Now Jake Paul is the latter. I don't respect who he is. But I do respect what he does. He's trying to earn money. And better his life. Better his family's life. His future. And I get that. I understand it. But. He then decided. To do something which kind of pissed me off and it pissed a lot of people off not just me pissed a lot of people off he decided to step into the ring with anderson silver now in this life there are few and i mean few living legends and if you're alive now and they're still alive you're lucky that they're still alive and you're in the presence or living in the same time as some living legends. Because le legends don't come around very often. And the word legend gets thrown about a bit too much. In today's world. Now Anderson Silva is one of those. He's a living legend. He was in amazing in his time. But he's a fighter. That's what he does. And I'm not here to tell it to say what a fighter can do or what they can't do with their body and their life. But at some point, you know, they have to step back. Because there's always someone younger coming up who want to become legends. And when the boxing match was announced with Jake Paul and Anderson Silva, it kind of pissed me off. Not for the fact Anderson, Anderson Silva was getting into the ring with Jake Paul. It was the fact that Jake Paul's intention is to knock these people out. He's not going in for a charity boxing match. He wants to knock them out in whatever spectacular fashion he can. And there's no respect there. He'll, he pretends there's respect there. He pretended there was respect there, but there wasn't. He wanted to knock Anderson Silver out. Now, Anderson Silver is an older guy. Now, he'd had a few boxing matches. So that kind of leaned people towards, well, he's had a few boxing matches. He's still active, kind of. It, Anderson Silver just wants to earn some money. So people let it go by. I didn't watch it. I had no intention of watching it. I watched it on YouTube afterwards, but I'm not. I'm never going to pay for something like that. It's just not going to happen. And then Jake Paul has got on with his little boxing career thing. Like he's pretending to be some kind of great boxer, and he got beat by Tommy Fury and whatnot. But then last week, I think I watched on YouTube. He fought some guy and who looked like he'd never boxed a fight in his life but apparently he had um, and I thought he's just doing what he normally does he's just trying to earn some money 
But then today, I was pissed off. Because this came up on my Twitter feed. And I'm going to show it you. Now, Jake Paul's father is older than me. And his reaction is wrong. It's so wrong. Where is the respect? He should be having the same ex exact. If, if what this man says is true, that Mike Tyson is his favourite boxer of all time, his reaction to what Jake is about to tell him should be the same reaction as I'm having, which is, this is bollocks. Who the fuck does Jake Paul think he thinks he, think he is? Who the fuck? He, is, he, doesn't have, have, he shouldn't have the privilege to even clean the boots of Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is a living legend. He has earned the right to never be approached upon by another man. He has earned the respect. He's lived his life. He's been punched in the face enough times. He's knocked out enough people. To be never approached by another man or to be spoke down to by another man. Now, if it was an exhibition and it was all fun, then you could kind of get with it. But we know for a fact Jake Paul is going to set out to try and knock Mike Tyson out as best he can. And it's bollocks. Because Mike Tyson is 60 years, well, he's 59, he's going to be 60 years old when this apparent fight takes place. He's going to be 60 years old. And Jake Paul thinks that this is a good thing. He thinks this is going to make him good. He just wants to say that he's been in the ring with Mike Tyson. Or you haven't been in the ring with Mike Tyson. Even if you won by spectacular, the, oh, the best knockout you've ever seen in your life. You've still never been in the ring with Mike Tyson. In his day, he'd put you through a wall. And I just think you're a bit of a cheeky motherfucker for even attempting it. And Netflix, shame on you, by the way, for even putting this crap on. And shame on anybody that buys it and watches it because it's bollocks. Now, I feel, now, as I said with Anderson Silver, Mike Tyson's a big enough boy and to decide what he wants to do. But he should have more respect for himself than to get into the ring with this mug. I'm sorry, but I think this is disgusting. So watch this and you tell me what you think the reaction of this man's father should be when your young son says this. You ready? Mike Tyson. Mike, right? Fuck yeah. Why'd you ask? Because <laughs> um, I'm going to be fighting him. No way. In July. Dude. On Netflix. Are you fucking kidding me, Dad? Yeah. He's going to be the hardest hitting motherfucker you ever fought. I know. <laughs> Dude, holy fuck. I'm going to be freaking out. Yeah. Growing up, who was your favorite boxer? Mike Tyson. See what I mean? Absolute. He's going to hit you hard. His reaction should be the same. You have no right. Who do you think you are? The guy's 60. Get a grip of yourself. Fight someone your own age. Fight someone who is going to be a challenge. Ah, winds me up. It really does. Because I don't get involved in this shouting on YouTube stuff. Because I just haven't got the the hate in my heart for anybody. But this is bollocks. And it's wound me up. Shame on you, Jake Paul. Shame on you, you mug. And, mate, have some more respect for yourself, man. Shouldn't be doing this kind of shit. You've, you've earned the respect of every human on this planet. 
don't, you just, just don't do stupid shit like this. Have a celebrity thing jing dong with Lennox or something like that. Bit of fun. You know what I mean? That's more understandable. Having a bit of fun like you did with um, the last boxing match you had. Just have a bit of fun. But this, this lad here, he's going in there and he's going to try just to big himself up because he might knock out a 60-year-old man. You fucking mug. Anyway, sorry for the rant and I'll see you in the next one.